think I know what this is. Yep. <laughs> I was right. Oh my word, look at that dude. What's going on guys? So we're out here, it's about nine o'clock at night and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't catch a monster tonight. We finally got some warm weather. It's been in like the 70s to 80s off and on for the past like month, but it's been in the 50s and low 60s at night. So the water hasn't really been able to warm up, but finally the rain has just been coming down. The water's warm, so got some fresh bait and I got a good feeling about tonight. So let's see if we can catch a giant. All right, you guys, this is what we're working with. Nice size buffalo. We're gonna go ahead and cut this up into three pieces, launch it out. And we got a really big bridge right here. So we're gonna have to be careful with the, the pylons. I have a mono rod just in case they get stuck. So let's see how we can do. Alrighty guys, like I said, nice chunk of buffalo. Let's go ahead and launch that under this bridge. we got a nice chunk of the body piece and we got the fins on the bottom give it a bigger profile and the water is going this way so let's go and cast this as far as we can down to the left here we got a little body piece so four footer could take pick that up and so could a seven footer so let's just see what happens There's an eel. Oh, I had it. It was an eel. There was an eel right there. Where'd he go? He's under here somewhere. I can't find him. That was cool. I haven't seen an eel in a while. All right, we had something hit this one pretty hard and then drop it. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a gator down there. I mean, there's gators in here every time, but... This is like the worst possible spot to fish, but it's better than fishing on the other side of the bridge because once they take the bait, they're gonna be going with the current and then I'll get right in the pylon. So I gotta make sacrifice, stick it out and fish right here, but it is tiny, dude. Like, this sucks. <laughs> Look at this. That is crazy. That's a curious gator right there. What's up, bro? Guys, there is a salamander right here. Look at that. I've never, or is that, a, is that an eel? It might be a three-toed fuma. Let's see if we can get him. But I think a three-toed fuma is a salamander. All right, we're gonna have to wait for him to come back because I want to catch that thing. Alrighty guys, we switched up spots just because didn't see any action over there and also it was way too uncomfortable to fish in, so let's see how we can do here. Alrighty guys, we got a run on this rod. Pretty big chunk of buffalo. Don't think a spotted guard would pick that up at all. So let's just see what happens. Alrighty guys, I think I might go ahead and do it. It's gonna be interesting. I never try to catch one on mono, or at least been successful at it. But I got him. I got him. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got something on here, dude. What is this? What do we have? What is that? No! Oh! It was a nice car. Guys, we got something playing with this. Like, every time I pull it tight, it jerks back, and I can't tell if it's a fish or not. It feels like a fish, but I can't, I can't tell. I cannot tell. 
All right, whatever this is, it's still in there. I'm convinced it's a turtle now. I got whatever it is. <clears throat> oh no, he's stuck. Come on, get out of there. <clears throat> get out of there. Hey, he's still on there. Whatever it is. But he's on the snag. Come on, get off of there. Hey, he's still on there. There he goes. He's off, he's off. He's off the snag. I think I know what this is. Yep. <laughs> I was right. Oh my word. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. Goodness gracious. Oh. Look at that big boy. <laughs> well, we didn't get skunked. I can get that hook out too. Oh, he's a strong one. He's a strong one. Look at that. Let's go ahead and get that hook out. Get a couple pictures and get them back. There we go. Hook's out. There we go, man. I'm in a swimsuit and no shirt, so I'll probably look insane right now, but didn't get skunked. Nice little snapper. Always good to see the alligator snapping turtles because I always try to push for their conservation. There's not a lot of them left. So, nice little turtle. Let's go ahead and let this dude go. Get him wiggling his tongue. All right, I'll just let you go, dude. Come on. You're smart, come on. I'm almost certain I've caught this turtle before, too. <laughs> I'm not gonna get you. I'm not gonna get you. Look at that. Dinosaur. Back to the depths. Alrighty, well, long but interesting night. First spot did not produce. Second spot, lost that gar. I'm really bummed about that. That was about a five, five and a half foot gar. And you know, that was the first gar I've hooked on mono. So I'm gonna cut myself some slack, but uh, great to get that turtle. I have been catching a good bit of alligator snapping turtles recently. I've caught, I think, eight in my life. I don't know how many of those were the same turtle, but it's great to see them, just letting them go goes a long way. So awesome night and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next fishing video.